Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Julio and I wanted to take a minute and show you something that I do when I run Nmap and I have a ton of ports like this box, like this box does right here. Uh, this is uh, MedJed from Proving Grounds. So um, what I do is after I run Nmap and I save the output, I grab it. So this is a little bit of automation that's good for when you have a ton of ports. It's really not necessary um, if you only have a few ports, uh, but you know, I guess you can use it however you want. So I, I copy it, and now I'm gonna bring over um, a terminal from my host computer. So this back here is uh, my Kali, which is on a VM, and then uh, my personal computer, or my host computer is also Linux. So that's what you see right here. Uh, and I have a folder or file named nmap.txt, so I'm just going to nano that, and I'm going to paste the output and save it. So now what I'm going to bring over are my notes. I use Obsidian for my notes, and uh, I created another one because I just I just did it for the uh, f uh, the folder where I'm going to actually take my notes, but I wanted to show you, so I just created a backup. And as you can see, there's nothing in here right now. And once I do that, then all I do is I run this bash file that I call make ports, which calls um, this one right here. So here, let me just do that real fast for you. And I'll tell you what it's doing. It's taking all the text and just extracting the port numbers. And then it's asking me if it's a Linux or Windows, because the way I have this broken up is I have a folder for Linux boxes and the folder for Windows. So it's asking me, uh, what it is. So I'm just going to tell it it's Windows. And then it just asked me for the name of the box right here. And I just type in medjed2. And when I hit enter, you should see this populate with all of the ports. And there we go. Now I have a file for each port that I want to take notes on. So just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I'll drop this in my GitHub uh, later tonight. And um, if you guys want to check it out. Side note, I, I used ChatGPT to build this. I just wanted to play around with ChatGPT and I was trying to think of what I can have it do. So when I ran this box, I saw the portion. I was like, oh, let's, let me see if it can do that. So there you go. I hope it's helpful and uh, feel free to uh, adjust it however you want or just have ChatGPT build it for you. All right, talk to you later. Bye.